Had to cut her off, it was painless. Show me fake love, it was shameless. I should have known that we would never make Telling you the best Mac 10 setup with no recoil at all, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna have on your MP5 is your Silicon Eliminator. You want this because it gives you 25% vertical recoil, which basically takes away like almost all of the recoil. And you have muzzle flash concealment, which is also very good. And for your barrel, you're gonna have a 5.3 Ranger. The reason you're gonna want this is because it lets you, it gives you 100% bullet velocity. And this will allow you to wall bang. If you get somebody low and they walk behind a wall, you can still kill them. Uh, you're not going to want a body on it, and for the underbear, you're going to want the field agent grip. You're going to want this because it also helps with the recoil, 80% vertical recoil control, and 16% horizontal recoil control. But it takes on your, your shooting move speed, which, you know, it doesn't really matter. For the magazine, you're going to want the south. Well, the magazine, honestly, is up to you for preference. You're going to want the 53 round for, like, more spray and, like... If you rush, if you rush a lot, you're gonna want to use this so you can, you have a lot of bullets and you can also reload very fast. And yeah, this is the best setup and I will load into a game and show you the recoil. And guys, I also forgot to mention, you're gonna want to have on nose stock as well to fix the sprint to fire time that you are missing out on. Now I'm gonna load into a game and show you the recoil. Alright guys, so I just loaded into the game. As you can see, I have the exact same setup on. And I loaded into a game with a few bots so I can show you when killing someone that actually has no recoil. And you can use this from different ranges, like you can use it from far range, sometimes close range. So yeah, as you can see, there's like no recoil at all. See, if I shoot at this wall, the recoil is barely, no barely noticeable at all. See the 50, the 53 round salvo mag really helps uh, to spray a lot. If you if like if you can't hit your shots that well, then you're gonna, I recommend using the 53 round mag because it gives you more bullets. And if you can't really aim well, that's like a, a very big plus for you. So, yeah. And you want to you want to normally run like scavenger or something on this weapon because you will run out of ammo very very quickly <clears throat> i'm getting a lot of kills but this really isn't a flex considering it's a bot game but as you can see no recoil at all and by far this is probably the best smg in cold war as of right now uh, but comparing it to the LC-10, I mean, the LC-10 is better than the MAC-10, but for rushing, I would have to say that the MAC-10 takes the cake easy. Just for the set fact of the damage that it causes, like, it, the, the damage that it does, and the fire rate on it. Alright, let me go ahead and kill myself so I can get the MAC-10 again. <clears throat> See, as you can see, it like it kills at different ranges. Like it can be used like as like a long range weapon and a close range. It just like depends on your play style and your preference on like if you like to sit back and camp and if you like to push and spray. It could like it could be used for various race play styles. It just really depends. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get these 30 kills for you guys. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm a bit sick right now.
In the next video, I will be showing you the best Pellington class for quickscoping. See, as you can see, guys, the gun is very good. It, but you could you could use it for any playstyle that you like. It just depends on how you like to play mainly and like stuff like that. But overall, it's a very good weapon at all ranges and for every playstyle. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be posting the best uh, quickscoping Pellington class next. Uh, thank you guys for watching and peace out.